Good evening, everyone. What's up? My summer has been enjoyable. How's yours? Recently, I've been working on the school rants. Today is something different. Previously, I did a seven-part countdown on the top 25 worst Spongebob episodes based on my opinion. That was my best video, and it was a little like MO Bro Studios, but some episodes had different placements. Well, that was approximately four to five months ago. Well, there are many Spongebob episodes from season four and after. Overall, many of those episodes were bad and a few were abysmal, some ranging to okay. However, there were some episodes I found to be enjoyable, which is only a few. Before I count down, I would like to say that you're entitled to your own opinion. You can dislike any of these episodes. I'm sorry if none of your favorite episodes made this list this time. These were difficult to choose because there had to be a lot of positivity. I don't have a lot of proof this time because I haven't watched any recently and I was never able to. Also, I have not watched any other countdowns on this. Once again, this is my opinion. Let's do it. There were only 10 episodes which I could find to deserve a spot on this list. Let's begin. Number 10 is the thing from season 4. Like I previously mentioned, Season 4 had a few decent episodes. The episode starts off with Squidward peeking around his house to see if Spongebob is around because it is mysteriously quiet. He is happy and listens to clarinet music. However, Spongebob and Patrick, out of nowhere, sit by him. They pester him and consequently Squidward is irritated. He leaves his home and bikes. He falls in cement and is dumped into garbage. He smells bad and the cement hardens, turning him into an unknown thing. He walks home and is spotted by Spongebob and Patrick. They decide to adopt him and call him Smelly because he smells bad. They bring him to Spongebob's house. Spongebob tells him that the newspaper is his bed. Snail food is his food. As a result, Squidward cries, and Spongebob assumes that those are tears of joy, which are not. Gary brutally beats him up. Squidward, also known as Smelly, escapes, attempting to go to his house, but Patrick won't let him. No, Smelly, Squidward does not like pets. Anyway, Patrick takes him to his rock, and he attempts to play catch, but Smelly can't, and he gets angry. That scares Patrick and calls animal pest control. They say, we've got you surrounded. And they take Smelly away. He ends up at the zoo and his name Species Unknown is made fun of. That night, Spongebob and Patrick dress up as robbers and free Smelly. The security attempts to stop them, but Smelly go and them go under a sewer. Ironically, there is an abundance of creatures which look like Smelly and love clarinet music. Smelly cracks and Squidward is free. This time, Squid Spongebob fixed his mistake and was not annoying after the beginning. Also, Spongebob... But this was a this had a good ending. Number nine is Shell of a Man from season four. This episode starts off with SpongeBob making a Krabby Patty and eating it. Mr. Krabs pulls him into his hiding spot to show him some of his treasure from when he served in the army. He reveals that he was the toughest guy of the crew and won the mental toughness trophy. However, he molts and does not want to show up at his army reunion. Instead, Spongebob fits into Mr. Krabs' shell. He can easily imitate Mr. Krabs. Anyway, he goes to the reunion and everyone likes him. He is told to make a speech and he tells a story about being low on bubble soap and um, jelly fishing, which is something that Mr. Krabs would never do. The crew is surprised and has a fight with Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs' shells cracks and Spongebob is revealed. He's about to leave, but Mr. Krabs comes out and shows everyone that he's molted. He tells Spongebob, come on, lad, let's go. He is given a mental toughness trophy, and everyone admits their secrets. Luckily, Mr. Krabs' shell will come back. Overall, just okay. It was a little boring, but not annoying. Number eight is The Way of Sponge from... Season 8, I vaguely remember this episode because I only viewed it once from television. Spongebob visits Miss Chisani's tree dome and there is a karate master who is a terrestrial animal. Spongebob redeems karate's feeble because he can't do the karate chop on a log on a log on a piece of wood. However, he redeems himself at the Krusty Krab by doing karate chops on food to make Krabby Patties. The sensei, who is that? Animal is impressed and presents the black belt to him. His pants fall off, revealing his underpants. Even 
everyone laughs, which was funny. Even the sensei laughs. That was a cool episode. SpongeBob's karate was impressive, and I was entertained. It was much better than that karate island. Enough said. Even my father liked it. Number seven is Jailbreak from season nine. Similarly, I vaguely remember this episode. Plankton is in jail, and he befriends other inmates. He wants to break out of jail to get the Krabby Patty formula. They plan to succeed. They break out of jail and go to the Krusty Krab to steal the Krabby Patty formula. However, there is a policeman in the locker which is trapped by Mr. Krabs. Consequently, Plankton and the others are arrested. Ultimately, I like the escape of Plankton. Nonetheless, there could have been one improvement. The ending could have had more action instead of just one being behind bars. Nevertheless, the escape plans were cool. My assumption of Plankton not succeeding is that the writers are attempting the show to last as long as possible. Number 6 is selling out from Season 4. A businessman offers to buy the Krusty Krab, and Mr. Krabs gladly accepts it because he gets cases of... Stuffed with money. Did I not mention that money is his favorite thing? Mr. Krabs has everything he wants, including going to a or visiting a fish hook museum. His daughter kicks him out of the house. Anyway, he returns to the former Krusty Krab, and things are far different with someone else in charge. The patties are made from junk, which infuriates Mr. Krabs, and he shows everyone. Consequently, all the customers leave. Mr. Krabs gladly buys the cr Krusty Krab and makes his two employees go back to work. Mr. Krab made a wide decision to regain his property. Well, that's part one of this countdown. I have other rants to work on, so good night.